also be wary of this guy, because he's kind of an asshole sometimes. Trust me, you do not want to be grabbed by those guys for too long. I might want to actually show off what happens if you are grabbed by those guys, though. Because generally, I just, I just I have such bad experiences with them that I kill them before they can even get that far. But it would be interesting to see, probably. Alright, Medley. What can you do? No, we don't need to fly right now, girl. It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. Mm. Oh man, she's actually smart, so she ran out of the way there. Although, if I remember right, there's like this like really scary video on YouTube, and I'll, I'll see if I can like replicate it, but it's like, actually not, let's not, let's not do that just yet, because I actually need medley really quick here. <laughs> but I'll talk about it later. It's like this, it's this really freaky video on YouTube that I saw so many years back, but it still stuck with me all this time, just because, because I love anything related to this game, it seems. Which is still amazing to me that I haven't tried the Wind Waker HD yet. I just haven't got around to it, I guess. I probably should, though. Some people were actually suggesting that since I had gone on hiatus with this Let's Play for so long, that I could have theoretically gotten back up to this same point with all the same collectibles I had on the HD version and continued the Let's Play in HD. Which may have been very well the first time ever that anyone's done a Let's Play and switched games in between, because technically that's what that would be doing, even though it's just the same game, but more Bloom effect, I guess. But that would have been, that would have been interesting. I decided not to do that for two reasons. I guess I don't need to hit that one. But it's for two reasons, mainly. One is that I don't own Wind Waker HD. Well, three reasons, I guess. Two is that I don't... Um, I just feel like that would be too tough to aren't trying to replicate everything and get all the same collectibles. And three, uh, my Dazzle does not seem to work with my Wii U to record it. Alright, so Medley, you're just going to stand here uh, in the corner facing the wall because you're being a bad bird lady, Rita. So here's the second warp pot. I can't quite remember. Oh, I do remember what the third one is. It's not for a while yet. But here's what this video on YouTube did. It's like they put, her, they put Medley in the spot that I have her right now. And then they push this block, and you saw that earlier, she ran out of the way of the block. But if you do this just right, she actually, like... See, she doesn't have time to run out of the way, because, like, she's trapped in there now. <laughs> and then what they did... What does this actually do, though? Medley? You okay, girl? Hello? Um, that's... <laughs> I don't remember this being an issue before. Because normally, what happens, or what I've done, what happened when I've tried that before? In first off, in the YouTube video I was talking about, she screams when in that, like it's a scream effect that they put into the video, and it's like really scary, and you don't expect it. Um, but normally, what I do, what that, what happens there is, she just pops out, like she like clips on top of the block. She never just stays behind there, medley. <laughs> I can't pull that block back out either. I don't know. Um, this might be an issue. Oh, don't worry, but okay. Okay. Thanks, Kingly Red Lion guy. You know exactly the, the advice and when to give it. Yeah, so she, Medley's that little purple dot on the map down there. I can't... <laughs> I, I gotta try this. Hold on. This is just silly. I know I could just leave the room and come back and she'd be standing at the door, but I gotta find out. <laughs> Doing alright in here, Medley? Oh, she just... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, this could be kind of creepy. Link. I've become one with the block. I am the block. Kneel before me. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that, Medley. Can't imagine how scary that must have been for you, girl. Oh. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I forgot that that's a, thing, that's a thing that can happen too, she can just crash into walls. You'd think that for a girl who can like learn to run out of the way of blocks there, about to crush her... Uh, don't need the fairies, come on. <laughs> they give you two fairies there. You'd think she'd be able to f not fly into walls on her own. Alright, oh, hello. Oh gosh, there's Poe's in this room! Shit! <laughs> okay. 
So this is, I think this is the first time we've seen Pose, and we can't actually really handle them right now. Oh, get, stop it, stop it! Hey, get away from me. I'm tr trying to deal with your ghostly friends here. Alright, because what you normally need to, need to do is to shine light on these Pose in order to give them a, a corporeal form. Corporeal? Corporal? Corporal form? You need to take these pose to a business meeting, is what I'm saying, and then you can kill them with boredom. Alternatively, uh, I think you can... You can do something with... You can do... You can you can kill these guys. I know you can. First, you knock the horse out of their hand like that. I think there's a faster way to do it. Then, they'll plot maniacally and rub their hands together for a little while. Then they'll possess you, which reverses your controls, as if my controls didn't feel reversed enough after all the Dark Souls playing. Hold on, Link! Just struggle for a little bit longer, because that doesn't actually do any damage to you, and then they just fade from existence. So that's an easy way to deal with Pose, if you don't have a light nearby. But in pretty much every instance where you fight Pose, after this one, I think you do have light nearby, so it's not too big of a deal. <laughs> hey, Medley, look at me! I'm doing an impersonation of you when you run into a wall! Uh, I fly into walls! I'm Medley! Hey! Oh, oh sorry. I wasn't myself, Medley. I didn't mean to make fun of you. I'm really sorry. Anyway. <laughs> Pay no attention to that pointy stick, Medley. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I promise. Okay. So, uh, what's this? There's a locked door here. Which we, for which we do not have the key. Wait, there's a chest in there. Oh yeah, I remember the chest. We can't actually get that right now. Alright. Um... Maybe you stay here, Medley. Can I kick this ladder down? No, didn't think so. Alright, uh... Take your pick. It's the world's shittiest game show. I think it's actually this coffin you want, though. So if you want, you can just grab this key and make... <laughs> and hightail it out of here. Actually, you can't, I don't think, because... Yeah, that ladder's still there, so there's another puzzle here that we have to solve. Involving these guys. Oh, gosh. Okay, you, you just... I don't want to deal with you. Oh no, okay! <laughs> I'm gonna have to deal with you! Redead, get off me! Oh gosh. Oh, fuck. For whatever reason, these these incarnations of Redeads are one of my least favorite. Oh, I was trying to show something off there. If you get close enough to them before they, before they do this and start gnawing on your head... If you uh, get it just the right distance before they do that, you can actually jump attack and knock them out of that screaming attack that they do. And it's actually pretty cool, so it looks like we have... Why did it... Oh, that's just even creepier. That's probably the creepiest part of those guys to me, is the fact that their their bodies take so long to despawn after you've actually killed them. Alright, here, I'll try to, try to do it again. Just like that, there you go. Just knock them right out of the animation. That's probably one of the easier ways to kill them. I was afraid they were going to make me wait for, to watch his corpse fade into nothing until that ladder would come down. Just get me out of this mess. Ugh, freaky things. And actually, just like every, pretty much every other enemy in this dungeon, Redeads do react pretty poorly to light, as we might get to show off a little later on. Uh-oh. <laughs> I like how I didn't even have a choice to bring Medley in here. Just totally left her behind. Oh, up. Probably for the best, judging by this. Okay. Man, running into new enemies left and right here. I think these are all new enemies anyway. I can't even really remember, to be honest. Welcome the Stalfos. Okay. So, my battle plan for Stalfos. you got to have three things, alright? One, bombs. Two, boomerang. Three, skull hammer. This is one of the few times I'll ever unequip the Wind Waker from the Z button. So here we go. First, throw a bomb. Then, make sure it hits him. Then, boomerang to make his head stop moving. Then, smash him with a skull hammer! And that's basically it. <laughs> that's probably the most effective way I've ever found to deal with Stalfos. If you have a better one, leave it in the comment section below. <laughs> I wonder how many people are actually going to give like a little play-by-play. -play. Alright, here's what let's do. And they, they mock up like a little ASCII-style football drawboard. Here's how I deal with Stalfos. 
really though, this is a pretty cheap way to deal with Stalfos. It's a it's an effective way, but it makes it's not a real true warrior style. So for this last one here, let's actually let's give him a proper fight. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's what you get if you try to have sword play with a Stalfos. There we go. And then you hunt down his head and just kind of wail into it. it. Takes a quite a few hits though in order to get that. Whereas you can see it just took one hit with the skull hammer. So if you're not if you're not prepared for those Stalfos, they can actually like if you don't know how to fight them very well, they can throw you for quite a bit of a loop. And <laughs> let's just say that I I have uh, died to this fight before. Anyway, as Zelda logic would dictate. Spiky chest means we get a dungeon item! It's the mirror shield! Yes! Oh man, finally I don't have to look at that decrepit old shield anymore, as Tetra put it so early in the game. Man, look at my brand shiny new shield. Literally shiny too, look at this. Ba-bam! Oh, gotta love it. <laughs> so now I guess we don't need medley for anything anymore. She can just up and leave. Wow. <laughs> you know, this place isn't too bad in the daytime. You could build a summer home here and everything. It's okay, I already have a summer home. I think I do anyway. Did I already do that in this game? I can't remember. If not, uh, spoiler alert, I guess. Hey, Medley, how you doing? <laughs> you don't want to go back in with those redeads, I promise. They might have looked kind of, uh... Well, I don't even know how they could look friendly to you, to be honest. Hey, buddy. See ya. Oh man, he was not ready for that last spin attack. That little repost. Oh gosh. Oh, here we go, dude. I'm try. I'm there. We go. I was I was trying to do the parry there, but it wasn't working for some reason. Okay, so now I think I can actually because there should be a light source up here. So here's the way you're really supposed to deal with Pose, I guess. Um, there he is. I shine let him in for a good while. Oh, let go. And they will turn back into their ghost form before too long, so make sure you get him quick. Man, do you see all these freaking orbs that all these enemies are dropping? I'm just getting... I'm pretty sure they don't always drop all these orbs. I know the Moblins always drop those orbs, but, uh... Not Pose. And Pose don't have any special drops, by the way. They're not like the skull necklaces. Po. Oh. 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 I'm so bad at aiming. Sorry, I can't. I can't really see you. My head is in the way. There. Okay. That was a little bit silly. I had any right. And just for completion's sake, I'm going to go ahead and get that chest on the other side. I don't think it's anything of great value. In fact, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what it is. And if so, I better get ready to smash it with this thing. Don't worry, it's not a mimic. It's just a... It's something worse. The Android pendant. whoop de freaking do Oh, like butterflies in the next field blossoms. Where have I read that before? Oh yeah, 40 other times in the same game. Anyway, so Medley, I'm going to need your assistance again. Despite what I said earlier about how we have the mirror shield, that we wouldn't need Medley anymore. They actually, uh, they thought of that. And you're going to need her again, so... Get that Wind Waker out, folks. Not done yet. So this is actually pretty interesting. They don't really even give you any clues to this, which is kind of kind of cool, honestly. But you can use the reflected light of Medley's harp. You reflect it in just the right spot so that Link can come down and use his mirror shield to reflect it again. And that is that is a really cool effect, honestly. Oh, by the way, since I never really showed it off, you can actually, if you get close enough to Medley, you can just press, uh, what well, you're supposed to be able to. I thought I could do it from here. I th <laughs> Hold on. Maybe I gotta climb up and get a little bit closer. There you go, you press R to call her, just like the statues in the Tower of the Gods. Really? You can't jump down from... <laughs> Come on, Medley. 
Alright, pick her up, drop her down. <laughs> Sorry I'm being a little rough with you, Medley, it's just... I've had a long day and I'm not, not in the mood for dank temples, to be frank. To be completely blunt with you. No, I <laughs> didn't want to do that that time. Oh hey, free rupees. Free monies! And if I remember right, you can actually use the same trick in this room again to get some more stuff. I don't know if there's anything of too much importance, but... What can I say? Oh gosh, went right through Link's head there. That ain't good. There we go. And you, you do actually have to... Like, you can't just be standing in Medley's light and, like, at whatever angle you want. You actually have to kind of... Like, you can see if I stand here and try to use my mirror shield... It doesn't reflect any light. It's pretty generous, the angle you can stand at and still reflect the light, but it's still, you do have to be careful of that. Keep it in mind. And welcome back to the hub room of the temple. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look, it's a giant Redead statue, like, carved into the wall. Totally kind of forgot about that, actually. I thought it was just, like, a scary face. You okay down there, Medley? Medley! I can still pick you up with this blue smoke, right? Why don't you get smoked blue? That's not cool. Alright. So now, that's... <laughs> Gee, I wonder what they're hinting at with these two different beams of light. By the way, I suppose I should make note of this. Um, if you do let one of the floor masters actually grab Medley and take her away, she'll come back to this room and she'll be trapped in here. And she'll be like, oh, help, save me, Link, because I can't fly or anything. Not without you telling me to, but yeah, that's where she'll be if you uh, if you lose her to the floor masters. Just a word of warning. A word for the wise. Or a word for the wary. And... Let that sunshine shine, shine on, baby. Man, there's some scary looking feet. Look at these things. I don't think any foot fetishes is lining up for these ones. Ugh. <laughs> Though you never know. <laughs> 